Hi everyone, it's Soho California Vintage and thank you for tuning into this video. Um, this is going to be um, a large haul. I got this actually today um, and I spent with tax over $100. So I'm thinking I spent around 90 and then because I live in the wonderful state of California and taxes are extremely high, it bumped me over a hundred. So, um, silver, silver, silver. You're caught. Okay. I have silver here and bronze. Bronze is that way, but he's making a mess over there. Anyway, so I'm going to hop right in. So, all tickets were half off except for blue so blue is the color of the week I didn't get half off so there are some there's actually a lot of blue tickets that I got and I'm just gonna jump right in so I, I moved this the sticker to see the full name so that's Dana Butchman or uh, Bookman which I don't know how you pronounce uh, how they pronounce it but I'm, I want to say Butchman this was half uh, half off $5.99. So I got it for $3. Um, I just thought that these are clip-ons, brand new. I thought that these were really, really cute. It has a very similar to like Labradite type stone, but I know it's not. And then we have like these um, marcasite design around it. So these um, sell anywhere between $15 to $18. I just seen that right now on eBay. So that's a good, that's a very, very good find. I'm ecstatic about that. I got this cute bracelet. Unfortunately, it was the full price of $7.99. And they're like, um, it's not silver, but they're coins. And, um... It's probably too small for me because I like, you know, I want to hear them jiggle. But this is a really cute find. Um, I have actually one that my grandmother gave me and it has little, little tiny um, coins. And that one's actually real silver. It's from Mexico. So I think this just reminded me of her and I splurged. But this is really, really cute. It is not silver. But it might be, I was going to say pewter, but it's too, too, too glossy, too shiny. Well, there's that. Then I got, let's hop in into brooches. So this one broke in the bag on the way home, um, but I could glue it. It's a cute um, silver tone brooch, very, very big, a flag. And this was $5.99. I was drawn to this beautiful. It is um, more current, the brooch, but it reminds me of like the Victorian era. We have these red ruby-like stones. We have the clear crystals. And then, of course, the faux um, uh, pearls. Very, very nice. That one's going to do really good in the store. And as soon as I fix this one... I'll either list this one or save it for a mystery, um, a mystery box. These were half off, and these have a lot, a lot of fire. This is, oh, there goes bronze. This is, um, bronze knocked something over. <laughs> Sorry, that's not him falling. So, uh, these, um, are triangular stones. And this was half off $5. And I tested to see if in the store if these were magnetic and they're not. So I'm banking that this these are silver. Actually, I could have just checked to see if there was a mark in the store. But I don't see one. And... The little, um, I forgot what you call these, but they're, they are different. So I have to make sure that they match, but 
for five dollars i thought that that was a really good buy they're big they're really really big um let's see here moving on um i had to think about this ring it is marked inside silver i thought it was really really pretty it must be a size eight it's a gold tone and it has the clear right clear stones crystal stones this one was $20. Um, I don't I don't think I'm going to put it in the eBay store because I don't think somebody will, especially since these are not real diamonds, there's, there's not a lot of room for profit. So I'm just going to um, keep this one. Um, I got these lovely earrings. Um, these were half off, $3. And we have the abalone. And they are marked silver in the back. Right there. So for $3, I mean, and they're, they're cute. They're small. If somebody doesn't want, like, the big earrings, they could have the small danglies. That's a really, really good buy. This one is one of those clips for your purse to hold it at the store. And it was only a dollar. I just was drawn to the butterfly, how pretty it was. And I could see we lost a stone there. Where does it belong to? Maybe the sticker's covering it. I have to, I think I have to open it and check it out. But that's cute. Um, let me go over these brooches before I hop into the necklaces. Silver, you are on the pieces, girl. Okay, so then this one was regular price, $5.99, and I just really liked the ceramic bunny and this beautiful aquamarine and clear with faux pearls. This is more current. It's not old, but all the stones are there, and then I could always throw this butterfly into a mystery lot. It's cute, but what made me um, seal the deal were these two pays these two pieces then I have okay bronze you're stirring up a commotion then I got these and I remember seeing it the last time there at the thrift store this is half off so it was four dollars all the stones are there with the heart this is a pretty pretty um, redstone brooch and this one is really, really nice. We have the gold filigree with all the cabbage on pieces except for one. So it looks like a green one is missing. So I have to replace that. Um, I think I looked to see if it was signed. A lot of these, um, they remind me of like a Giovanni piece or a Gavinci actually. I feel like this is from a designer. And just the way it's crafted, there's a lot of detail. Um, these were really big in the 90s, 80s. So I have to fix that. Um, I got this piece, these three brooches, and this was half off. So it was $4. We do, unfortunately, have some missing stones right here. I could fix that with some small Swarovskis. It is an offside, but I was really drawn to this piece right here. Um, I thought this was a really, really different, unique piece. I need to do some more research. It reminds me of Cloisonne, but it is not marked, and I know this could do well. And then here's a gold tone rose. Then we have this this lovely set right here. So this was half off. I got the clowns. The little legs move. And then we have the silver tone brooch. The little flower is mobile. But this right here. This is special. I know there's a chip. So when they first put it out for $8, I couldn't take that chance of investing. And this, I waited, and it went half off today. 
somebody who buys it could actually fix that, um, you know, paint it black. These are like the Russian lacquer brooches. It is signed. The dogs are very, very rare. You don't see a lot of them. And especially this one that has the, um, the long hair with the bow. Um, this in its condition, no less than, uh, I have to really finish doing some more, more uh, research, but no less than 20 to 30, even it's in its condition. Like I said, um, a lot of the uh, Russian lacquers you see with flowers, a lot of filigree, but the pets are more on the rare side. So um, I'm actually glad I was able to get this half off. And let's see here. This one was half off of $7.99. We have a cute, it looks like some type of a bug. Maybe some June bug. Um, maybe it's supposed to imitate a fancy um, bee. No, no, not a bee. I don't know, but um, claws and eight piece. So this was four dollars. So I these three divided by four dollars is what I paid per piece. I'm pretty sure somebody's looking for a Hard Rock Cafe, Las Vegas, but um, these two is what sold me on purchasing that. Then um, these were $3.99 and it's like, it's a no-brainer. These are really good Christmas brooches. All the stones are in place. That's going to go on the tree lot that I'm still creating. We have a cute um, snowman with little loose lights and then another tree and all the stones are there and I don't believe there are any um, makers mark on any of them maybe this one I try to do this carefully without you know compromising the oh this one is signed oh it's Avon I've Avon's pieces don't really, you know, make a lot of money, but I've been kind of drawn to a lot of them recently. I am going to be getting in the mail pretty soon a KJL uh, Avon piece. It's a dragonfly, and I know that's not as worth as the other pieces I've had, but still, it's a KJL piece. Um, so that's interesting enough for me. This one, they all ripped off. This was $5.99. We have a pretty marcasite style brooch. This is actually stunning, to be honest with you. I glanced at it. I was like, oh, I'm going to take it. It's more modern. It could be a pin or a pendant right here. But, um, actually, there's multiple... Ooh, I like this. There's multiple loops. So maybe you could wear it um, as like on a bracelet, as a pendant, this way or this way. The cute little snowman. And then this um, adorable cameo, which is modern. And it, oh, and it has all these little loops. That's real, and it's like a, it's like a pinky color. Oh, bronze is in the frame now. So, um, yeah, let me see here. Let me remove this because I have the tag. So this was half off. Um, they originally wanted ten dollars, and I got it for five. And it's it's. It's a cute collection, but I liked it because it was the whole set. So we have these black. I'm pretty sure these are glass. I don't think these are like crystals. Maybe. I don't know. There's no there's no mark. But it came with um 
oops, there goes the earring. It came with the bracelet. The bracelet, the necklace, and the matching earrings for $5. Great deal. Great, great deal. That will be in the eBay store. And it came with the box. So then, um, I was eyeing this, um, this Victorian style bracelet. It was half off. And I was thinking, huh, this might be silver. I looked for marks. It's not. And it doesn't stick. There's a good chance it is silver, but the detail on this is phenomenal. I mean, the workmanship, look at the, the stone, how it's open in the back. And then you could see it's just really, really adorable. And it does have that Victorian look. It's not from the Victorian era. Um, or I wouldn't definitely not think this this claim. But um, and it probably would be marked. Well, not necessarily. But yeah, five bucks. So super cute. And to close out this fabulous haul, um, I have to untie these for the necklaces. I got some great necklaces. This is they do this. I do this too. So the so the um then they don't get tangled. What is this? Oh, you guys are making a mess for me. So this was regular price $5.99. And this cla this lobster clasp, I haven't tested it, but it's beaded. Very, very simple. Oh, I didn't notice. It has these crystal crystals in there. But um, look at this beautiful pendant. It has this prism in it. It looks like silver or it's wearing out and it's copper I'm gonna test it right now with just the magnet not chemical so it's not sticking I'm thinking it's that's copper silver this isn't sticking either so um, I don't know I just think this is really really pretty and it's clean it has no scratches or anything Then we have this necklace, which is it was half off of $5.99, and we have multiple strands of purple crystals. We have like a gray colored faux pearl. Very, very cute. Um, it's not signed. I'm trying to see if I found. But I mean, for three bucks, I, I just I had to get it. Then I found um, this one. This one was only two ninety nine, and I am already currently selling one. No, don't eat that silver. Um, let me see here. It's a little tangled. I am selling one that, that has um, one s similar with the grays and the pinks and tan colored. <sighs> There's bronze. Now Now you guys see the new kitty. And oh, this is a tangled. I got to untangle it. But it's really, really cute for $2.99. Couldn't pass it up. This one was also $2.99. And these are like a purple hue. This is a modern piece. But I just thought it was really, really cute. Alright folks, so there you have it. Oh, one more thing, really quickly. 
I got this for half off. It's a unicorn um, love pearl necklace. And basically it comes with the, what is this, a clam or oyster. It's a, oh, it just says a shell. And you open it up and then you put the pearl that you find in here. And then it tells you based off of the color, you know, success, health. What, I mean, it's probably man-made, but it'll make somebody happy. These are, these are really cool. I used to like these. Um, when I was a kid. So there you have it, folks. Here's the uh, $100 haul. Hope you enjoyed it. Look out for um, the links in the description to my store. And this is Soho California Vintage signing off. Thank you.